hi everyone so today i cleaned my pc so i'm going to restore it then uh, this is a lenovo idea pad yoga 930 so it has done quite a good job for some good years as you see it's, it has pretty done a lot of work you can see this thick material used to cover the glass it's almost getting done so let me kick off with my restoration so if you don't know how to restore your PC it's very simple you can go to the recovery options and then you clean the PC right away so once it's done it will turn out to be like a new installation of Windows so it will install the Windows then it takes you to such a screen after a, a number of reboots so let's get started so we, we let's start with the region is this right so I'm not in the United States but I can select any country I want. So I'm in Uganda. But Uganda has no product. Let me select Canada. Canada. Where is it? Canada. Here it is. So I tap yes. So just a moment. Uh, by the way, Cortana is enabled by default. You can just turn on. Voice mode on. By that microphone. So is this the right keyboard layout? You can say yes. It will be listening. So I'm going to use the US key US key keyboard. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Yeah. Skip. So it's going to connect me to a network. Now let's get you connected to a network. So that way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Yes. So actually this is my Wi-Fi network. So I'm connecting automatically. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Next. Now we have some important setup to do. So right now it is just getting some few important information. Next up, the so. legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. So all I have to do is to accept. So you can just say accept. So it's not responding. So just a moment. It's going to install some little updates. Then my PC will be done. Now, let us know if this computer is owned by your work or school, or if it's yours. We'll set it up accordingly. So it's set up for personal use. Um, I don't have any organization, so it is for personal use. Next. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Alright, so let me sign in my my credentials. So this is my email. That's 
squad. So I'm done signing in my credentials. So we are almost done. I think I have one last step to go. That want is to here. set up a pin? I want to set up a pin, yes. So I can create a pin right away. For security purposes. So my new pin. So the provided pins do not match. I'm not so sure if they don't match. Windows can save your spot in apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. Yes. 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 So I, I think I need to have a better microphone because this one is just this side and I'm speaking right in front of the screen. So just a moment. This is the last step. So this is for get instant access to your Android phones, photos, texts, notifications and more. So I have an Android. So you can send web pages from your iPhone to your computer. So this is quite useful. I'm not going to, sp to skip it. So let me select my country. Country is Uganda. Uganda, Uganda. UG. UG. E. U. G. So, Hey, this is quite disturbing UG. so they are going to send a notification to my phone so we have prefilled your phone number from your record so please change the number if it is not correct so they have sent a text sent a text to my phone number and this is the last step so this is the setup it is usually quite simple want to automatically save files and photos to onedrive for some added peace of mind yeah. next Your PC comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft 365 family. Should we get it ready for you to use? So actually, I, uh, right now I don't have, I don't need this Office 365. So I, I will try it some other time to come. Not right now. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Accept. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. Yes. Now, choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather, and more. Accept. 
so find my device is also voice mode on turned on automatically so find my device so choose your settings then select accept to save them so you can check learn more link for information about these settings so how to change them how windows defender smart screen works and the related data transfers and use it so i have to select yes next choose whether or not you want to help microsoft diagnose and fix issues so i need the full one but i don't think it is quite necessary because this will affect my internet bundles but let me go with it and if you want to help improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on windows you can choose to so it has to go on so every hardware has to be able to work properly so in case you you had missing drivers it is going to download them automatically and they are going to get installed just right at this moment so it takes some pretty some minutes it depends on the network speed that you're using yes and the generation of the network so if you're using lte things will move faster So you don't have to worry so within some few minutes it will be done i'm also waiting to see the next stage i think it is going to reboot and it loads the desktop normally but it will be empty with no icon maybe my files on one drive they'll be here and the custom settings that i was using previously they're going to resume normally so there is no data loss here because every file is backed up on one drive so almost there so here we go this is it welcome to microsoft edge start page so getting started welcome to windows so microsoft edge has loaded automatically so this is my desktop with the file wallpaper that i was using previously so it, by default this is the desktop and this is how it appears so everything is working properly all the drivers the light sensors cameras and even the touch screen is working normally as you can see so this is the process for restoring your pc in it in case it is lagging uh, it is freezing so, or you want to get more space to clean everything so this is the process you hey guys if you subscribe to my channel thank you and thank you for keeping up with this video up to this stage thank you for tuning in first as always remember to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and like this video also comment because i'm waiting for your comments you could check other videos in the comment section below so sorry in the description of this video uh, this is the windows 10 uh, it is version 2000 1909 so sorry build 1909 so this is how it is so i have 70.2 gb on my drive so i'm using an ssd drive so it has 128 gb I use something like 100 GB so we are all done with the setup so after signing in you can see my icons appearing at the desktop so they have the OneDrive symbol embedded on them so they were there previously so here we go I'm done with opening the store everything is coming back to normal so when you press the start button all these all these these apps are going to download and i get well immediately so 
that is how simple it is so you can't lose your files with one drive all of them are backed up so they are just re-downloading as you see these ones are done so these are softwares but i'm going to reinstall them i don't think they can be installed i have the setups so right now i don't have microsoft office but i'm going to install it and i use my my pc properly so everything is going to work pretty fine so you guys thanks for tuning to this video remember to check out every week to check on my channel for a new video to get a new skill so may god bless you bye bye